In problem number 17 of section 2.2, .2, we're given a situation in which a car is traveling with a variable velocity. And we know that uh, on certain time intervals, uh, we're given its uh, velocity. So for example, we know that at some point between 0 and 40 seconds, I mean, we don't know when it could have been, 1 second, 15 seconds, 39 seconds. But at some point in there, the velocity is 15 meters per second. And similarly, between 40 and 90, it's 20 and so on. Uh, and we're asked to use Riemann sums to uh, approximate the distance that the car has traveled. Uh, so what we're going to do is look at the Riemann sum um, of the velocity function. And now the partition that we're going to use uh, is the partition given by the time interval. Uh, so maybe I'll write that over here. So the partition will be 0, 40, 90, 120, and 180. And the uh, sample points that we'll use will be just the point that we're given here. We don't know exactly which point it is, but it doesn't really matter. It just matters that it's you know, one's in the interval 0 to 40, one's in the interval 40 to 90. So we'll take those to be our sample, uh, sample set S. So now if we look at uh, this Riemann sum, we get, well, uh, sum of the SIs from I equals, we have four different terms, so I equals 1 to 4. Uh, times xi minus xi minus 1. Uh, where here I'm referring to um, 0 as x0, 40 as x1, and so on. All right, so we know that um, at the point, and this should be v, we know that between 0 and 40 seconds, there's a point which um, velocity is 15, well, 15 meters per second uh, times uh, the uh, length of the sample interval, which is 40 minus 0. Uh, that would be measured in seconds. And we'll add. Uh, the velocity in the set at the second sample point, which is 20 meters per second, uh, times the length of the second sample interval, which is 50 seconds, uh, plus the uh, velocity of the third sample point is 25 meters per second. The length of the third interval is 30 seconds. And uh, similarly, we'll have 15 meters per second times 60 seconds. Uh, so now this will um, be 15 times 15 meters per second times 40 seconds uh, will be equal to 600 meters. And 20 meters per second times 50 seconds will be 1,000 meters. 25 times 30 will be 750 meters. And 15 times 60 will be uh, 900 meters. So if we add all these values up, see so we get 1,600, 2,350, 3,250. meters. You can see the way that we used uh, the Riemann sums to approximate it was to just figure out the uh, distance traveled assuming that the velocity was constant on this entire interval, which I mean is only an estimation because we know the velocity is variable. Uh, but if we, we can approximate on each of these smaller intervals and that'll give us some kind of idea of uh, what the distance traveled was over the entire interval.